guys, good afternoon. Ayun, si Teacher Sefi ulit. Ayun, medyo na late ako. Sorry for today. Na late ako kasi uh, may ina si Kaso ako. Ayun siya. So, good afternoon everyone. Pa-share po ng live natin. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon everyone, good afternoon, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon. Ayan. Wait po natin ang iba. Mag magandang hapon, magandang hapon. Ayan. Sorry, medyo na late ako today. <laughs> Ayan. Magandang hapon. So, we're going to discuss. Yes, uh, good afternoon po. Ayan. I am discussing, I am discussing grammar and some in mathematics and some in science, particularly in chemistry. Ayan. So, nag-discuss tayo. Okay, sa hanggang, hanggang sa makayo po kasi medyo masakit sa poses. Uh, Maglala muna. Ayun. Good afternoon everyone. Magandang hapon. Ayun. So, mag-start tayo. Um, last time, I discussed, uh, with regards to grammar, I have discussed the, uh, what's this? The present, con uh, simple present tense. Uh, what's that? Uh, the other one? Simple past tense, present continuous, and pre past continuous. Okay. So, we're going to do... Uh, yeah, may hapon sa mga taga Visaya o Mindanao. Ayun, magandang hapon sa taga Luzon. Ayan. Good afternoon everyone. Ayun, so they discuss ko ngayon yung uh, of course yung future um future tense um you know what's future, right? Wait lang po, uh, for a while. Okay. Of course, future tense. Future tense, we just use the 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 helping verbs, uh, the auxiliary, or I mean the helping or the the will and the sh and shall. Okay, will and shall. Okay, so will, uh, subject plus will or shall. Okay? Will or shall plus base form of the verb. Okay? Verb base. Plus verb base. Okay, there we go. Base. Verb base. Ayan. Magandang hapon. And, uh, of course, this is the format for the future tense. Hmm. And, uh, we always like, I, we, you, they. The subject, I, we, or the pronouns, I, we, you, they. Uh, he, she, it, of course, singular plural subject, okay, any names or uh, noun subjects, plus will or shall, okay, plus verb base. And the thing is, we have this, uh, what's this? We have a specific usage of will and shall, okay? Shall is uh, used with I and we, okay? Uh, we use will for everything. This stuff, okay? So, we use will for that. And a shall is only used with uh, I and uh, we, okay? So, we say we shall, I shall, okay? Now, uh, of course, everything there is uh, used with will. Nan, yeah, good afternoon. Ayan siya. Um, this, of course, means future. The action uh, will happen in the future. Now, um, I have, uh, but I have one thing to discuss today uh, with regards to future. Um, there is no, I mean, there uh, will and shall are not the only words that suggest futurity, okay? So, we also have, uh, I've discussed before in the, in the previous live session, I have this, uh, I have this, uh, what's that? Present continuous tense, okay? So, present continuous tense. We have the present continuous tense. Uh, 
the usage of course i've discussed that before that if the action is happening right now or uh the time or the action is happening at uh, uh, the time around now okay like today or now or at the moment stuff so we have the present continuous like the the format we have the subject plus am is are plus uh verb in ing form okay verb in ing form like this one uh teacher sepi will teach tomorrow of course like that okay now uh present continuous there is also part of the present continuous that also means future okay that also means future now can you guess what's that what specific situation wherein we must use present continuous not the future tense will or shall to mean future event or future or the action that must happen in the future okay can you guess uh what's that do you have any idea about that Ayan. good afternoon everyone okay so when do we use the present continuous to mean future my question is when do we use the present continuous uh tense to mean future okay can you comment it down if you have idea when do we use the present continuous uh to mean future do you have any idea Ayan. okay so we use uh most of the time we use the present continuous also Okay, to mean future when the action is, when the action is arranged or uh, planned, okay? Arranged or planned, okay? So this one, this situation, we use the present continuous to mean future, okay? So what's this like arrangement or plans or stuff like that, okay? When do we use this one? So, I'll just write a sentence here on the board. I'll just erase this uh, stuff. Mm. Okay, so we have two sentences of the board, on the board. I will go to Boracay this Saturday and I am going to Boracay this Saturday. Now, which do you think is correct? Can you comment down, uh, uh, comment down your, your answer or in, if you have any idea which one is correct? Ayan. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Now, I will go to Boracay this Saturday. I will go to Boracay this Saturday and I'm going to Boracay this Saturday. Okay. So, both sentences, which one do you think is correct? Okay. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea? <laughs> Ma'am Marielle, but question mark, both? <laughs> okay. Which do you think is correct? Okay. Grammatically, they are both correct. Uh, they only have specific usage on specific situation, okay? So, what is that? This Saturday is fine. This Saturday or on Saturday is fine, okay? Now, uh, this part, okay? The will uh, sentence, this is, okay? This is used when you just decide at the time of speaking or you just decided now. Like, shall I say, uh, I just decided now to go to Boracay this Saturday. So, I would say, I will go to Boracay this Saturday. In the second one, okay, I am going to Boracay uh, this Saturday. This one is already planned, okay? So, this is already planned or arranged, 
Okay? Now, when is it... Uh, when this one happens, like shall we say, you planned it yesterday, or you planned it an hour ago, or you planned it uh, this morning, you decided yesterday or any, any, any time before. You already have decided or arranged or planned to do it, and you are just saying it now to someone, uh, you are going to use the present continuous tense. Okay, so shall we say, uh, another example, Ah, the, the, this one. If I decide now that I'm going to, uh, that I will go to Boracay this Saturday, I will use, of course, will, okay? I will go to Boracay this Saturday. But if I say, I am going to Boracay this Saturday, that means I already have planned it like an hour ago, like uh, a few hours ago, or yesterday, or uh, one week, or two weeks ago, like that, okay? So this is already planned, okay? This is already planned. Uh, you cannot say, you cannot say uh, an action like, shall I say, I am meeting Dave uh, next week. Okay? I am meeting Dave next week. That means you plan that before speaking. Okay? You already have decided to do that action before saying it or before speaking or before talking it to someone. Okay? Did you get the, the, the situation? I mean, the, the difference now? Okay. Nuggets ba? I will meet Dave next week. That means I just decided to meet Dave now. Okay? At the time of speaking. But they say, I am meeting Dave next week. That means I planned, uh, I already planned that I will, I am meeting Dave next week. I already have planned that action. Okay? So that's the, that's the difference between the two. Okay? So, ayan siya. Plans, okay? Arrangements or plans, uh, things or uh, mis things you already have decided that's it okay you have to use the present continuous to mean future but if you are just deciding or if you're just deciding at the time of speaking you have to use will or shall to mean future okay okay ba maraming salamat loud and clear ayun good afternoon good afternoon everyone ayan Magandang hapon. Okay. So, ano pa ba? <clears throat> Ayan. Actually, ang daming niyang usage, ang daming, uh, ang daming, uh, what's this? Ano bang situations wherein you can use uh, each of the tenses of the verb. So, ang dami actually dito. Ang daming, ang dami kong dapat i-discuss. But today, I'm going to uh, mix the English, the grammar part, and uh, what's this? The mathematics. I'll, uh, I'm touching uh, algebraic expressions. Uh, what's this? Algebraic fractions pala. And then, uh, I'm discussing also chemistry uh, later on. Okay. So, ganun lang tayo para ma-cover natin lahat. Uh, Marami-rami tayo ma-cover na subjects uh, every live session natin. Okay? Ayan. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Ah, present perfect, I'm sorry. Mamaya na si continuous or progressive, uh, present perfect progressive. Okay, so present perfect tense. The format, we have the subject plus have, uh, has or have, right? I think I've discussed this one. Have plus past part of uh, the verb past participle. Okay? Past participle. Okay. Now, past participle of the verb is like go, when, gone. Okay? So, this is the base, infinitive. This one is the past form and this one is a past participle. Okay? Like, uh, walk, of course. Walk, walked, and walked. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Ayan. So, ito lagi siya gagamitin natin, past participles, okay, with the present perfect tenses. Always remember that, with the present perfect tenses. Now, um, when do we use the present perfect tenses? Okay, uh, present perfect. When do we use the present perfect tense? Okay. 
subject natin, of course, I mean the helping verb natin, has or have, if uh, the subject is singular, okay, we use has. If the subject is plural, we use have, of course. Like, shall I say, teacher Seppi has, okay, has taught many students, okay? Sorry sa writing ko. <laughs> okay, teacher Seppi, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Teacher Seppi has taught many students. Okay? So, ganun siya. Now, um, what's next to this? When do we use... Ah, have muna tayo. Okay. The teachers... The teachers have taught... Okay. Many students. Okay? So, ganun siya. Um, has singular subject have plural subject and always we have to use the past participle of the verb okay there you go next ayan uh when do we use this one okay if this is now if this is now okay this time is now the action started to happen in the past and has just finished okay has just finished or continuously happening now, okay? And this one must be uh, uncut period. This is a period of time, okay? This is a period of time. That means the action is happening all the time from the past until now, okay? Now, that means here, uh, shall we say here, teacher Seppi has taught many students. That means since I started, since I started teaching until now, okay? Since I started teaching until now, Teacher Seppi has taught uh, many students or a lot of students. Now, so that means the time since the time I started teaching until now. Okay? So, that's um, that's the total period. We're talking here of the period of time. That's uh, present perfect tense. Started The, the action is up, uh, the action started in the past and uh, still happening now or just finished now. Okay? Ayan. Hello po, good afternoon everyone. And Ayun. Next. Lang minutes ba tayo? Okay. Bukas ko na lang i-continue tong ano, perfect tenses kasi differentiate ko siya. With, uh, i-differentiate ko sa present perfect with a simple past tense. And, uh, what's that? Uh, ano pa bang isa? And, simple past tense. And, the, uh, what's that? Present perfect continuous tenses with, I mean, past perfect tense with the simple past tense. Okay? Differentiate ko sila. By tomorrow po, live ulit ako. Ayan. Same pa rin 2 p.m. or uh, past 2 p.m. po. Tatouch ko muna yung ano. Kasi marami nagre-request dun sa algebraic uh, expressions, algebraic fractions. Okay? Sa algebraic fractions. Okay, algebraic fractions. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. Algebraic fractions. Of course, uh, everybody knows what's, uh, what are fractions. But this one is algebraic fractions. Now, uh, if you could, uh, if you could see or watch my videos uh, on fractions like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions, proper and improper fractions, uh, there will be no problem uh, for you to to understand this one. But if you have some, no, anyway, I'm gonna discuss the concept, the basic concepts before I'm gonna discuss uh, these algebraic fractions. Okay, now. Uh, so, algebraic fractions, I say fractions, of course, there is numerator and denominator, okay? Like, shall I say, uh, 4x over 7, or shall I say, y, okay? 4x over y, okay? This is an algebraic fraction kasi may numerator tayo, may denominator tayo, okay? Now, uh, if, you, if you also have watched my, my videos on loss of exponents, you can... Uh, Easily understand this topic also this time, okay? Now, 
Um, <clears throat> we will have, uh, what's this? Before we gonna do with the uh, algebraic fractions, discuss ko muna yung mga basics of fractions, okay? Now, uh, addition of fractions, like shall I say one half, of course. Okay? So, same denominator. Addition, and, this is true with addition and subtraction. Okay? This is true with addition and subtraction. Uh, same denominator, kopyahin lang si denominator, add yun ang expo, uh, yung denom, uh, numerator, so that's 1 plus 3, that is 4. 4 divided by 2, 4 of 2 is just 2. Okay? Now, if it's minus, like shall I say, uh, 3 over 2 minus 1 half, okay, same, kopyahin nyo lang yung denominator, which is 2, kasi same denominator sila, and then deduct the numerator. So, 3 minus 1, that is 2, or this one, 2 divided by 2, or 1. Okay? Now, um, what if the denominators are not the same? Like, shall I say, 2 thirds plus 1 half. Okay? 2 thirds plus 1 half. Denominators are not the same, so we cannot just copy that and then add expo uh, the, the numerators. We cannot do that. Instead, okay, so this is our trick for you not to, uh, for you to save time if you, uh, what says, if you meet this kind of questions. Okay, so unlike denominators, 3 and 2, diba? Unlike, so that's, that's unlike denominators. Now, what you're gonna do is just cross multiply. Multiply nyo si numerator si 2 at saka dito. Uh, denominator at numerator. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. X sila ha X. And then, 3 times 1, that is 3. Anong sign? Plus. Okay? Surat nyo yan dyan. And then, i-multiply nyo sila dito. Multiply nyo yung mga uh, denominator. So, 3 times 2, that is 6. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. And so, 4, 4 plus 3 is 7 over 6. This is improper fraction kasi... Mas malaki yung numerator kaysa denominator. So, ilang 6 mayroon si 7? 1. Okay? Or 7 divided by 6, that is 1. What's the remainder? 1. Right? And then over 6. Okay? So, ganun lang po dapat siya. Now, uh, this is true with uh, subtraction and uh, addition. Huh? This is true with subtraction and addition. Like, shall I say? So, sa uh, subtraction tayo, ah, uh, 6 over 7 minus. Okay. 6 over 7 minus 2 thirds. Again, 7 and 3 are different uh, denominators. So, cross multiply natin. Okay. So, ang sagot dyan, 3 times 6, that is 18. Okay. 7 times 2, that is 14. Okay. And then, ano yung sign? Minus, di ba? So, sulat nyo yung minus dyan. And then, multiply nyo to sila 7 and 3. 7 times 3, that is 21. Okay? So, this one is like 18 minus 14, that is 4. And then, over 21. Sulat nyo lagi yung ano, denominators. Okay? So, pwede ba natin i-reduce sila? May common uh, factors ba sila? Si 4 at saka 21? Wala. So, this is already in lowest term. Now, okay na ba tayo sa addition and subtraction? Before we're gonna go to, uh, before we're going to, uh, before going to this algebraic fractions, discuss natin yung di uh, multiplication and division. So we have okay. Now, uh, multiplying fractions. Ito ang pinakamadali. Kasi multiply mo lang sa numerator, numerator, diretso yan. Regardless if the denominators, the denominators are similar or not similar. Okay? So, multiply nyo lang numerator, numerator. 3 times 6, that is 18. And then, 4 times 11, that is 44. May common factor ba? Ay, may common uh, factor ba sa si 18 at saka 44? Yes, may common, which is 2. So, i-divide natin sa common, which is 2. 18 divided by 2. That is 9. And then, 44 divided by 2, that is 22. May common pa ba? Wala na. So, ito yung sagot natin. Okay? Multiplying fractions, you just have to multiply the numerator, numerator, and then denominator, denominator. That's it. Okay? Now, you always have to check if the answer, like this one, 18 and 44, if they have the common factor or not. If there is a common factor, divide nyo yung common factor na yun para maano nyo sa lowest term yung fraction. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya. Now, ganun lang siya. 
And then, uh, what's this? Uh, ano naman sa division? Like siya na say, 3 fourths divided by 6 over 11. Okay? So, bago natin siya i-divide, i-change muna natin sa multiplication to. Ano yung rule? So, we have 3 fourths. Change natin sa division sa multiplication. And then, take the reciprocal. Balik ta rin nyo yung uh, divisor. Ito lang ha, yung pangalawa. Kopyahin nyo lang yung, ano, yung first fraction. So, ito, balik ta rin natin magiging 11 over 6. Ganon yung rule dyan. And then, multiplication na siya. So, proceed with this rule. 3 times 11, that is 33. And then, 4 times 6, that is 24. Okay? May, may ano pa ba? This is improper. Mas malaki yung numerator sa denominator, si divide natin siya. So, 33 divided by 24, 1. Ilan yung remaining? 9. Okay? Over 24. May common... <coughs> sorry. May ano ba si, ano, si 9 at saka 24? May common factor sila, which is 3. I-divide natin sa 3. I-divide natin sa 3. Okay? So... Ang sagot dyan is 1. Kopyahin nyo lang ulit. And then, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then, 24 divided by 3, that is 8. Okay. 1 and 3, 8 yung sagot natin dyan. Okay? <coughs> May question po ba sila dyan? May question po? Ayan. Maraming salamat po. Ayan. May questions po ba tayo dito? <coughs> May questions? Before tayo mag-proceed dun sa, no, sa algebraic fractions, uh, paano muna kung may questions po sila? May question po? Pa-comment po kung may question. May comment, paano naging uh, 9 over 24? Okay. Paano naging 9 over 24? Si 33 over 24. Okay, so 33 over 24. Kasi fractions means, uh, fraction means division, okay? Okay. Now, <clears throat> ganito yun muna natin na. Uh, ano ba? Paano ba? Anyway, so this one is 33. Divided by 24. Ganon yung fraction na to. Okay? So, numerator sa loob, denominator sa labas. 33 divided by 24, 1. Diba? Okay? 1. 1 times 24, that is 24. Okay? Now, 33 minus dito. 33 minus 24, that is 9. So, ang sagot dyan, always ito yung whole number, 1, and then, ito yung numerator lagi, yung sa baba. 9 over... Yung divisor, which is 24. Always like that. Okay? Okay? Now, my common pa si 9 at saka 24, which is 3. Okay? My common pa sila, which is 3. So, i-divide natin yung common na yan on both 9 and 24. Okay? So, ang sagot natin dyan, ang lowest term, 9 divided by 3, that is 3. And then, 24 divided by 3, that is 8. This is the final answer. Okay? Okay. Okay na po ba? Nagam ah, nagamit. Nakuha po. Nakuha po kung bakit siya naging 1 and 9 over 24. Nakuha. Okay. May isang ano din dito. Paano pag multiplication and division tapos same ang, same ang denominator? Same rule. Okay. Same rule pa rin. Same rule. Okay. I'll be explaining it. Uh, pa-comment po na kung nakuha to kung paano naging nine, uh, 1 and 9 over 24. Okay, no problem. Welcome po. Okay. Now, what if same yung denominator sa multiplication and division? Same rule pa rin tayo. Shall we say 3 over 5 times 4 over 5. Okay, same denominators, di ba? Same rule pa rin. Sa multiplication, 3 times 4, 12. 5 times 5, 25. Okay? 
kopyahin nyo lang yung denominator, uh, pareho lang yung denominator, pagparehong denominator sa addition and subtraction, but not in addition, uh, but not in multiplication and division. You always have to do this rule, okay? Next, sa division, 3 over 5 divided by 4 over 5. Again, same rule, change natin sa multiplication, 3 over 5, kopyahin yung first, change sa multiplication yung division, and then take the reciprocal, that is 5 over 4. Again, multiplication na siya. So, magiging 3 times 5 is 15, right? 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20. My common, si 15 at 20, which is 5, i-divide nyo yan. 5. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then, 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So, ito yung final answer natin, which is simplest 4. Okay? Okay? Nakuha po ba? Sige po, bukas po magtuturo ako ng proof ed. Measurement and evaluation po tomorrow. So be sure to be with me by tomorrow. At 2 p.m. I think 2 or 3 p.m. Magtuturo ako ng proof ed. Measurement and evaluation. Okay. Ayun. Okay, so good. So punta tayo sa algebraic fractions na. Let's uh, try to check the algebraic fractions. Algebraic fractions. Okay, so paano siya? Okay, magpo-proof ed ako bukas. Abangan nyo yan. Uh, Sir Alan Cruz, mayroon na po akong, uh, I think, linear equations. Ipopost ko yung video mamaya. Okay. Yes po, uh, ma'am, uh, sir, or ma'am, I am KM. Yes po. Good, 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 good. Nakuha siya. Nakasave po lahat yung uh, mga videos ko. Ina-upload ko po to sa Facebook po. Ayan. So, you can you can go over all my videos uh, sa Facebook, dito sa page ko, if you wanted to, uh, says, uh, check, just check my videos if you wanted something na uh, may ano kayo, clarifications, may mga videos na po, na din po ako. Ayan. So, let's proceed with algebraic fractions. Okay, so multiplying algebraic fractions, same rule with the multiplication of uh, fractions earlier, okay? The simple fractions. Now, algebraic fractions, like Charles say, in algebra, we use uh, parentheses to mean multiplication, okay? Sometimes it's dot, or sometimes there's nothing. Like this one, 4x means 4 times x. There's nothing written there. Or there's no, no expression there that tells you it's multiplication. But this one means in algebra, there is a multiplication sign in between this 4 and x. Okay? Paganyan. Okay, now. Shall we say, multiply natin si 4x times uh, 3x over 2ab. Okay. 2a. 2ABY. Okay. So, paano natin yan siya gawin? Again, same rule. Okay? Same rule. So, multiplication. This is dot. Multiplication dot. Now, uh, remember the loss of exponents which I've discussed in the previous live session ko? Let's apply it here. Also, the rules of uh, cancellation and what's, uh, what more? Uh, rules of um, factoring. Okay? But, Siguro bukas na yung factoring dito, muna tayo sa basic. Okay, now, this one, multiply the constants, 4 and 3, so we have 12, right? And then, x times x, when you are multiplying, law, first law of exponent, if, if you are multiplying, uh, when you are multiplying two variables, same variable, add exponents, because this one is uh, exponent of 1, understood, right? In algebra, if there's nothing, that means there is 1. Okay, so that's 1 plus 1, so we have x squared, Okay? There you go. Next. And then we have y times 2abY. Okay, so there's one here. There's one. So y, y, we have y squared. And then ab, sulat lang natin kasi wala siya. And then that is 2. Okay? There you go. Now, we can divide. Uh, what's this? We can cancel or divide. Same. Uh, simplest form with 12 and 2. Ang common nila is 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1. Right? So, the final answer is 6x squared over ABY squared. Kuha? Nakuha? 
Pa-comment po below kung nakuha. Pa-comment po below kung nakuha. Ayan. Sa mga ano, sa geometry at saka trigonometry, uh, okay, for the math majors, okay, for the math majors kasi, uh, <clears throat> hindi kasi ako pwedeng mag-discuss, pwede naman ako mag-discuss dito, kaso lang, konti lang yung manunood, kasi nga, uh, konti lang, medyo konti lang po yung math majors natin, so, If you want, I have a group, math majors group. Pwede nyo po ako message tapos i-send ko po yung math major group ko doon. Doon ko po kasi dinidiscuss lahat ng mga concepts ng mathematics. Sa mga math majors dyan, pwede nyo ko message. And then, uh, unit earners, especially yung mga B, uh, I, uh, what's that? BS, uh, what's that? Computer Science. Yung mga sec, uh, unit earners, pwede nyo po ako ano, sa mga engineering grad na mag-education. Mag, sa unit earners din, pwede nyo ko i-message para kung may mga clarifications po kayo dun sa mathematics, pwede nyo ko i-message kasi may group po ako. For math majors. Ayun. Yan. Sige. Good. Next tayo. Next tayo. What if my... <coughs> may mga ano. Okay. Like, shall I say, 2x squared y4 and... Z7 over. Okay. Okay, so, what if ganito? What if ganito yung ano natin? Okay, so what if like this? Uh, this is not only for math majors. Uh, this concept is basic algebra. And you will have this on your uh, general education. Okay, general education questions. And also sa civil service, merong ganito. Uh, Napolcom, merong ganito. Okay, so you... Uh, it's better also na... You, Watch, you must watch this video too. Okay, so there you go. Now, what if like this? Okay, what if like this? Now, lahat ito siya, walang plus. Kung i-check nyo sila lahat, okay? So, first thing that you must do is to check if there's plus and minus. Mayroon bang plus and minus dito? Wala. So, if there's none, and this is multiplication, you can just uh, cancel things. Not the same, okay? Okay, so 3 and 3, pwede nyo yan i-cancel. Okay? Now, dito naman sa, ano, sa mga variables, i-add muna natin. Okay? I-add muna natin para hindi masyadong ano. Kasi kung ganito, i-cancel-cancel natin, medyo uh, complicated siya. So, 2, of course, wala na, kinansel na natin si 3. So, magiging 1 na lang siya. And 1. So, 2 times 1 is just 2. And then, x squared and x3. So, magiging x5. Kasi multiplying same base, Add the exponent. So, 2 plus 3 is x5. y4 and y7, multiply them. So, that's y11. And then, z7 and z, z4, we have z11, right? Okay, next, uh, we have 1 times 5, of course, that's 5. And then, x5 and then x7, that is x12, right? Because 5 plus 7 is 12. y8 and y2, that is y10. And then, Z6 and Z10, we have Z16. Okay, there you go. Now, <clears throat> lagi nyong i-check kung saan yung pinakamababa na exponent. Okay, with the X, okay, saan yung pinakamababa ng X? Nasa taas. So, that's we say, X5 <clears throat> over 5. Kopyahin nyo. X, magsulat din kayo ng X5 and then X7. Bakit ganyan? Okay. Bakit ganyan? X5 times X7, kasi X12 naman siya, multiplying X and X, and add exponents, 5 plus 7 is 12. Why I, I do this thing? Kasi po, para makancel nyo sa taas at saka sa baba, okay? 
para makancel niya si X5 dito at saka si X5 sa baba. Next, si Y, saan yung pinakamababa? It's sa baba, di ba? Y10, because this one is Y11. So, sulat niyo Y10, and here Y10 also, Y10, and Y1. Okay, or just Y. Kasi we don't write 1. And then, sa, sa Z naman, ah, cancel natin si Y10 at saka Y10. Si Z naman, mas, ma, mas mababa si, uh, ang exponent sa taas kasi 11 and this one is 16. So, Z11 and Z11 and Z. Uh, 16 minus 11, we have 5, right? Okay, there we go. Cancel si Z11, cancel Z11. Anong matitira? We have 2, natira. Sa X, walang natira sa taas. Mayroong Y tayo na isa dito. 2Y. And then, anong natira sa baba? 5. Kopyahin nyo lang lahat ng natira. X7. And then, walang natira sa Y, Z5. Okay? So, ito yung final answer natin. Nakuha ninyo? Nakuha ba? Pa-comment below kung nakuha. Pa-comment below kung nakuha. Pa-comment below kung nakuha po nila. Ayan. Okay, good. Next tayo. Thank you. Okay. What if division naman siya? Okay, good. What if division naman siya, okay? So, we have 3x5, or shall we say, let's make it bigger. 27... Okay, so what if like this? This is division na. Same rule with the basic uh, division of fractions. Okay, same rule. Kopyahin nyo itong sa first. Okay, so we have 27x5, y15, over a5, b7. Change nyo sa multiplication. Change sa multiplication. And then take the reciprocal of this or the invert, uh, inverted form. So we have, ito magiging sa taas. 7A3B10 over uh, 9, okay? X3Y10. Okay? Now, since this is multiplication, apply natin yung rule kanina. Okay? So, apply natin yung rule. At, pwede tayo mag-cancel sa 27 at saka 9 kasi may common sila which is 9. So, 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And then, okay, so proceed tayo. Proceed tayo. 3 times 7, that is 21. Okay? That is 21. And then x5, and then... Oh, yeah. x5. Oh, yeah. Kopyahin nyo na lang lahat kasi wala naman silang ano eh. So, we have x5, y15, and then uh, a3, b10. And then, sa baba, we have 1 lang. So, we have a... Nahin natin, it's okay. A5, B7, X3, Y10. Okay? There you go. Now, same kanina, we have 21, and then X5, and then this one is X3. Pinakamababa is X3. Pwede, nyong, pwede sila mag-interchange, uh, 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 ha? Kasi in multiplication, there's no uh, change in the product. Kahit pag balik ta rin, balik ta rin yung mga factors. Okay? So, x5 and x3. So, mas mababa si 3 dito. Ah, sorry. 3 times 7, that's 21 na po. 3 times 7, that is 21. Kaya, well, di na po kasama si 7. Okay? So, 21. And x3, mas mababa si x sa baba. So, we say, x3. And then, x3, x2. Diba? Same rule kanina. Same sa ginawa ko kanina. 
And then y15 and y10. So y10 mas mababa sa baba. So y10, y5. And then a3 mas mata mas mababa sa taas. So we have a3. So we have a3, a2, right? Kasi a5 siya. And then for b, b10 and b7. So mas mababa sa baba. B7, b7, b3, right? Kasi 10 siya dito. And then now it's time to cancel x3 and x3, y10 and y10. A3 and A3, B7 and B7. So, ano yung mga natira? We have 21 and then X2 and then Y5 and then B3 over A2 lang or A squared. Okay? So, this is the final answer. This is now the final answer. Nakuha po ba? Nakuha po ba? Nakuha po ba nila? Did I explain it well? Ayun. Ayun siya. Ma'am Chris na Marie, wala pong mahirap. Uh, I-go over nyo po, i-go over nyo po ulit yung video ko, ma'am, para mas uh, maintindihan nyo po. Baka sobrang bilis ko lang din po nag-explain. Ayan po. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So, let's try to... Good. And next up, I'll be discussing the... The one with factoring by tomorrow, factoring na adish na multiplication, algebraic fractions pa den, multiplication and division pero may factoring na, okay? Eto kasi basic palang, okay? Basic palang to sya. May factoring na bukas. Ayan, I'm sorry, sobrang bilis ko lang po. Ayan. Ayon. So. Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Pari yung CA at saka si Nenko anyway. So, ayun siya. Uh, I'll be discussing some of them by tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. Well, God bless everyone. Stay safe po. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.